Hey guys, welcome back to another week in medical school. So we are in the final week of our step one review boot camp, and after this week we have basically like a finals week where we have finals for some of our classes and we take a practice step one exam. After the practice exam we have a 17 week period of no classes, nothing scheduled, and we're just expected to do some research and take step one in that time. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about it towards the end of this vlog as well as at the beginning of next week's vlog. Anyway, this past weekend was really really nice. I had a movie night with some classmates and I also had a tricking session on Saturday which was absolutely amazing. In fact, these vlogs need better content, so let's actually just roll the clips from that session. So yeah, it was a super fun tricking session and I just felt so, so good that day. I felt light, I felt like my tricks were getting stronger. You guys probably have noticed I have not done a lot of tricking recently over the past year and it's because over the course of medical school, I've been getting like more and more out of shape. I started to put on a little bit of weight, but over the last few weeks, I've really been working on that and I know a lot of you guys have probably noticed I've been going to the gym a lot. I changed my eating habits. I've been doing a lot of low carb and since I started changing my eating habits and exercising more, I've actually lost a little bit more than 10 pounds, which is why I felt so good on Saturday. In general, I feel so much better if you guys would actually be interested in a dedicated video where I talk about going low carb as well as showing like my physical transformation and like, you know, some of like my actual thoughts on this diet, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, I've done a lot of talking. Today is Monday, so I had class from 8 to 12 and the plan for the rest of the day is just to be as productive as I can be. My friend DePaul is coming over around 3 to work on some studying and research and so between now and then I'm going to run a couple errands. I have to pick up some pants that I had hemmed at Lululemon and I think on the way or before I go there, I'm going to stop by Dutch Bros to get a free drink because I have a value for it and I'm gonna take Chewy with me because he really likes to drive through and he really likes his puppuccinos. And then later tonight we're actually gonna take Chewy for a walk with the siblings and then I'll go to the gym and yeah it should be a good day. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can get you off my mind. Ooh, girl. So I'm just now leaving Lululemon and the pants that I ordered a few weeks ago, which I had to order online, come to the store, have them sized for hemming, and then they sent them out to have them hemmed. They like lost it. Like they lost the package. Like they can't track the FedEx truck. They can't track the package or anything. And they're just like gone. So they had to like reorder the pants. And then once they come in, I have to come back in, have them resized, have them hemmed again, and just go through the whole process again. So that just happened, which is kind of a bummer since I wanted to wear them for our standardized patient tomorrow. I don't really know what's going on with my look right now because like the same thing happened last week with my my back windshield. You know what? Life happens and there's nothing I can do about it except for maintain a positive attitude. Hey guys, real quick, I just want to tell you about the sponsor of this week's vlog, Gym Plus Coffee. 
Gym Plus Coffee is an Irish athleisure and lifestyle brand with a focus on building a community with their mission to make life richer. They actively facilitate fun events with an awesome crew to do things with while having quality gear to match, making sure it's not just about the clothing, but also about the community. Whether you're working out, lounging around the house, or on the move constantly, Gym Plus Coffee's clothing has you covered for all occasions. A few weeks ago, Gym Plus Coffee reached out to me and asked if they could send over some of their clothes for me to try, and I absolutely love them. Their beanies are super comfy, one size fits all, and come in a variety of colors. Not to mention the beanie is extremely lightweight and super warm. Their shirts are extremely soft and really form-fitting, which is really, really nice, and they're just really comfortable to work out in. And I absolutely love the joggers that they sent me. They're extremely comfortable, really lightweight, and I love how they have a taper towards the bottom, and they just fit really, really nicely. And they also sent me this extremely comfortable jacket, which I absolutely love. Like, I've never had a jacket meant for working out. All of my hoodies and stuff are super baggy, really big, but this is, like, super nice, really form-fitting, and it's just really comfortable to work out in. It's also starting to get pretty cold out, so this jacket, the beanie, and the joggers are absolutely clutch. Gym Plus Coffee is planning for a sustainable future and they're currently on track to have 30% of their range being fully sustainable by the end of the year. They're doing this by producing products using more sustainable materials like recycled ocean plastics and they're working towards 100% fully composable packaging. So guys make sure to check out Gym Plus Coffee and you can actually get 20% off of your first order using my coupon code Anderson. I'll have all the links and codes in the description box below so make sure to go check them out. Thank you so much again to Gym Plus Coffee for sending over these clothes and for sponsoring this week's vlog. Morning guys happy Tuesday so I am exhausted right now because I didn't get home from the gym last night until like midnight and I stayed up a little bit longer because I wanted to review for our standardized patient today which I'm about to leave for. Today's standardized patient is going to be a female that presents with some sort of STD. Uh, she's been having discharge for a while and so the big purpose of this particular standardized patient is to take a more detailed uh, sexual history, menstrual history, all that kind of stuff, which is a pretty sensitive topic, so it's really important to learn how to approach it correctly. I think I'll be fine. Like I said, I reviewed last night, and I did a little bit of review this morning as well. Anyway, I've got my stethoscope and my white coat, so let's head on to campus. So I am home from school now. Our standardized patient went really well. I uh, thought I did a pretty good job of like the history taking everything. I got like all the information I needed. And then after our standardized patient, there was a presentation on campus and they fed us lunch and everything, which was really nice of them. And now I am home and I am exhausted. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. Uh, I picked up some coffee on the way home, but I think I might still lay down and like take a nap for a little bit. And so the plan for the rest of the day is just to try to be as productive as I can be. I'm gonna do some studying, work on some research and go to the gym of course and yeah I think I'll just catch up with you guys tomorrow morning guys happy Wednesday so I've had class all morning uh, we did some review on dermatology as well as neurology and now I'm heading down to campus uh, we have a follow-up meeting with our research team for the same project that we met last week to discuss and hopefully today will be productive we basically have had two rounds of edits on our manuscript since the last meeting so last week which is amazing we're moving kind of fast right now which is good uh and hopefully today's session is also very productive all right guys so actually never mind we are not meeting with our uh, research mentor today he's out sick which is very unfortunate we hope he feels better and i think we're just gonna meet with him virtually tomorrow instead uh, to do basically exactly what we're planning on doing today. So anyway, the plan for the rest of the day is just to grab some food somewhere since I'm already out and then I'll probably just go home and try to make today and tomorrow as productive as possible. I'm put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd So I let go, let go I don't want to, but I'm gonna try When she left me, yeah, let a little bit inside Maybe things are gonna be 
morning guys, happy Friday. Sorry it's so dark in here. It's like a super like gloomy, cloudy, rainy morning here in Las Vegas. I think it's like 67 degrees out, which is like the coldest it's been in like a very long time. So definitely had a lot of interesting weather last night. But anyway, like I said, it's Friday. The last two days were pretty productive. I didn't do a lot of vlogging, but I got a lot done. So on Wednesday night, I actually submitted my first ever paper for publication, which is a huge deal. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but like last semester, I was not very excited about research. I was kind of dreading having to get started in research. And now here I am having submitted my first ever paper. I just feel like it's a big step. A lot of progress has been made. So at this point, I just have to wait like two months to see if they accept it, reject it, send it back with some edits. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I have my fingers crossed. And last night I actually had another accomplishment. I went to the gym and I ran a 12K, which is seven miles. It's the first time I've ever run that much. Now, of course I took some breaks and my mile average was about 12 minutes or so, but it's a huge accomplishment for a couple of reasons. First off, I'm signed up for a 12K next month on Thanksgiving, and I was unsure if I could even run seven miles. And second off, if you guys remember back in September when I started running, I could barely run like half a mile without like being super exhausted, I wouldn't be able to keep going. And now here I am about five weeks later and I pushed through seven miles, which for me, that's a big accomplishment. I've always wanted to like running and I can't say that I like, like running yet, but it's something that's becoming a little bit more enjoyable. Anyway, that's all about my accomplishments over the last two days. Right now it is about 7.30, I've got class in about half an hour and yeah, let's head down to campus. Today was a pretty good day. We had our last day of classes this morning and that went until about noon. And then some classmates and I decided just to hang out for a little while. We went and saw the new Venom movie, which was pretty good. Overall, this has been a really good week. I got a lot done in terms of research. I got a lot of good exercise in this week. And like I said, today was my last day of classes. And so next week is actually final exam week. On Monday, we have our analytics and medicine final. On Tuesday, we have our foundations of clinical practice final. And then next Friday, we have our CBSC, which is basically like a practice step. It's gonna be five hours long. And after the CBSC, they are sending us out on our own for 17 weeks, where in that time, we have to get some research done, we can take vacations and whatnot, and we have to do our dedicated step prep period as well as take step one. It's so crazy that I'm just like done with didactics and the whole goal of the next four months is to take step and then move into my clinicals. Anyway, I'm gonna talk more about it in next week's vlog because I wanna end this vlog here because I have a lot of work to do tonight. I wanna do some studying for my exams on Monday and Tuesday. And hopefully this whole weekend is productive in general because like I said, next week is crunch time. But as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in another week in medical school. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Oh.